Good morning, and it is Friday. I'm here at Performance Locker with Casey Stesman. So Casey, I know last time we talked, we talked about um, posture at the gym and people, how they slunch over and stuff. So what are we talking about today? Actually, I kind of want to continue down that path, right? So another exercise that makes its way into a lot of people's routines is called an upright row. Now, if you've seen this one before, it's kind of where we grab like a barbell and we pull up into that position, right? So a lot of people use it to strengthen the shoulders, the traps. But what I want to kind of look at is, do we really want to strengthen those muscles in those areas and those movements if you're kind of our, our normal nine to five desk worker that we established last week? What does that posture look like? That bit. Slouch. Oh, right yeah. there. We don't want that at all. So in that posture position, so hit that again for me. Now notice how we get in this position here, the arms kind of turn inward, right? So we mm -hmm. call that internal rotation. So when you turn your arms inward, the shoulders drop forward. Mm -hmm. What happens when you turn your arms out? Oh, your posture. posture gets yep, fixed straight. right away. Mm -hmm. So we want to focus on things that are going to externally rotate the arms and the shoulders that are create that better posture. The challenge with something like an upright row is it actually internally rotates the arms through range of motion. Now, big picture too, we're also going to look at the, the, the spine. So if we're coming back this way, go back to that bad posture. So we have too much flexion in this part of the spine. If we don't have enough extension in the spine, it's hard to get that range of motion. So if I'm here and then hammering, I'm just diving into that internal rotation. Now, another thing I want to check real quick, let's go down on the ground. So I'm going to have you lay flat for me. And then from there, just take your right arm out to the side and then just bend the elbow. And now what I want you to do, keeping the arm right there, keep the shoulder and the elbow on the ground, slowly take your arm down and try and touch the floor. Uh-oh. Oh. You can't touch the floor. I can't. So that means we're missing this range of motion. So when you try and touch the floor, what happens? Shoulders Boom. Going, yep. Shoulder drives up and forward. Come on back up. So then for you, if we're doing this exercise, go ahead and grab the hands overhead and you're pulling up. So stand facing me. And if you're pulling up this way, when here, when we're starting to get into this internal range, we just saw on the ground, you don't have that range of motion because we spend too much time at the desk. I'm not picking on you. So what happens? All this comes up and forward and we lose that spine. Now, does that feel like good posture? No. So all we're doing is hammering what could potentially lead to or is an impingement in the shoulder. Now, we add weight to this. Does it get better or worse? Worse. A whole lot worse. When we add load, it's going to, yeah. So how can we switch it out? I'm glad you asked. We're going to come over to here. Now for me, this is one of those exercises, like for most people, nine to fivers, desk check, like just get rid of it, right? Yep. It, it, if we're not, if we don't have the right ranges of motion, it, it could be potentially doing more harm than good. So it's just better to err on the side of caution. What can we switch it out with is any other pulling exercise, but one that we want to promote external rotation, right? So yes. in this position, when you're pulling down and I want you to pull the elbows really tight to the body. So when we're here, what do you feel? I feel it working right. out. Right. So now look at this posture from the side there. So we're a lot better. We're turning, pulling the arms out. We're setting the shoulder blades down and back. We're creating a long neck. This is much better for the posture and putting the arms in the position we want to get into. So when we're looking at pulling or rowing type of exercises, we want things that are going to promote external rotation, turning out of the arms, mm -hmm. and try and stay away from those internal rotations because that can potentially drive us into that poor posture. It does. And I could definitely feel my posture going back, it sitting up nice. straight in my spine. That's pretty. Well, thanks, Casey, for giving us another tip on straightening our posture at the gym.